YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. So today's another episode of Coral Friday, guys. I picked up a beautiful specimen to show you. Um, it's been in the tank right now, about an hour. It's been acclimating. Um, when you acclimate, make sure you have a little bit of your water in the bag to make sure you know you raise your salinity to 1.025. Make sure everything's the same in the bag that's in your tank, and you want to make sure and keep the heat the same uh, temperature that's in your tank as in the bag, so you don't shock your coral. Um, with the Acanophilia, um, you want to take a little bit longer acclimating. You don't want to stress it out. Um, sometimes even with the lighting, um, this coral itself uh, it likes a low medium light and place it uh, you know mid level. So it doesn't get that power rating on it as hard, harsh compared to other corals, guys. Um, one other thing uh, with this uh, Acanophilia, um, it likes a low flow, guys. Uh, if, if it has too much flow on it, it can stress it out. Then its uh, polyps won't extend fully, and you won't be able to see all the beautiful bright colors. Um, with this uh, Acanophilia, um, there's three colors on it. I have uh, yellow, purple, and blue. It's really amazing. I can't wait to show you guys under the T5s or under the blues uh, from the Radions. So let's take this uh, Acanophilia down uh, to the lab. Um, let's give it some uh, revived coral dip. We'll see if we have any pests coming off, and then we'll bring it up. We'll place it in the tank, show you where and why, and then we'll turn the blues down as low as we can go and see uh, what colors pop, guys. All right, so let's head down to the lab, and we'll go check this out together. All right, guys, so I made it down to uh, my fish lab here in the basement. So I got my coral right here. I'm going to just show you guys. Um, so this is area here. This is the Acan Aphelia. You guys can check it out. I don't know if you guys can really see it through the bag, but we got three colors on this one. So right now, we're just going to mix up uh, the Revive Coral Dip. Um, I use the Revive Coral Dip uh, by Julian Sprung um, by uh, Two Little Fishies. Great stuff. $9.99 at your local fish store. Um, I swear by this stuff. It works great. And I use it on all my episodes. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix this up in the water, guys. And then we'll get our coral in here and we'll see if we get any uh, little pests and critters off. All right. So let's mix this up. So it's four, four capsules a Revive Coral Dip for 3.8 liters of water. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put these in. So one, two, three, four. All right, so we got that in. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, mix up the water a little bit before we get the coral going in here, guys. So I'm just gonna put the coral in. And I'll bring you guys up close and personal, and uh, we'll see if we get any pests coming off uh, from using the revive dip, guys. So I just want to show you this specimen before I get in the water. So this, it's a good size and it fits in my palm. You guys can see, uh, you guys can check it out before I put it in. So you can see the different colors on there right now. So hopefully um, this Acan Aphelia will pop under the blue lights, guys. So let's get it in the Revive Dip, guys. All right, so we're gonna let it soak about 15 minutes. Then we'll uh, take it out. Always make sure to rinse your coral before you put it in your main display tank. I take about, uh, I rinse about three times just with some of my aquarium water out of the sump, rinse it, dump it out, rinse it again, guys, and then keep it in that water and then take it upstairs and put it in the display tank. So let's let this soak for 15 minutes. We're gonna come back. I'll bring the camera up, guys, close and personal, and we'll see if we see any uh, little critters coming up, guys. All right, guys, so it, uh, it's been in the revive for about 15 minutes. Um, I see a couple little uh, critters, so I'm gonna bring you guys in close here. You guys can check out, um, see how this revive dip works, guys. So come on in, we'll check it out. All right, guys, so here's our coral. So I just wanna bring you up close and personal to show you how, much, how well the revive works. If I bring you in close here, you guys can see that little bristle uh, worm. So there's one little pest, and if you guys move over to the right, guys, you can see that uh, pink right there. That's another little bristle, uh, bristle worm. I, I don't care for them. I don't like them in my tank. I find uh, they can mess around with your cores a little bit, irritate them. So definitely get rid of those. So let's just agitate the water a little bit, guys, to see if we get any more pests coming off. Just move it around a bit. All right, guys, and uh, I just want to show you another thing. If we just zoom in here, you see that uh, up in the left corner? To me, that looks like a pyramid snail. Now those are a real pain. If you have any kind of clams and stuff, those pyramid snails, if you have a smaller clam, can eventually kill it. What they do is they come out at night and they, uh, they attach themselves to the flesh of the clam and they feed on it. If you have enough of them, they can eventually take over your clam and kill it. So if you ever see your clam and you see these little pyramid snails, 
definitely try to get rid of them as fast as possible because they can spread. They lay eggs on the clam as well and you can't see them because they're transparent and they're very hard to get off of. So I just wanted to show you that. So right now I know I got to get that little guy off of there. All right guys, so this revive is doing the trick. Um, one other thing that I, I like to do is um, I like to check underneath the coral like in the old skeleton or on the rock. You never know if they're, so I just take like a little needle point and just, you know, just move around and see if you can see any little pests sticking on there. Um, if you look here, there's one little coral. Well, it's, it's actually just a, it's a sponge, a yellow sponge. That's all right. But just if you look through any other spots, you can see if there's any other little critters hiding that could get into your splay tank. So it's looking really good. I'm just going to stick it back in the revive for the last five minutes. Just did my inspection on the bottom, guys. You just, I just stress more. You don't want to get any of these pests in your tank, guys. All right, guys, so it's been 15 minutes in the Revive Dip. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna strain, uh, strain out this water and we'll see up close and personal what pest came off. I wanna make sure that was a pyramid snail and that it's actually laying in the bottom of this container so it does not get into my display tank, guys. All right, guys, so this is what came off the Revive Dip. If we just look close and personal, look at that. So right here, we have a bristle worm, a small one. Um, we have a mysis shrimp. What else we got? And then right here is another little bristle worm. I really don't care for those. And right here is just a little serpent star. And another uh, mysa shrimp. And a really, really small uh, bristle star as well. So there's like three bristle stars, guys. And there's another one, so four. So if I would have let those get in my tank, you know what I mean? You ever see some of them? They get huge, like over a foot long but they will irritate your corals. All right guys, so uh, that's the revive dipping uh, the coral of the Acon uh, Philia. So let's uh, take this upstairs right now guys. We're gonna go mount it and I'll show you what application I'm gonna use and where I'm mounting it and why. So let's head up to the main display and we'll go check it out guys. All right guys, so got the coral all mounted up right now. I end up putting a mid-level, um, low, medium light so it's not too intense, but it can pretty much handle anything. Um, it's a really hardy coral as well guys. Um, you'll end up, you'll want to feed it a couple times a week. Um, it really uh, color up really nice as well. Um, the application of using the mounted, this is uh, the two, the two uh, compound uh, Aquascape putty, um, the two colors, uh, you mix it together. Um, and then I just put it around the edges and on the bottom. So it, I find it helps uh, the coral will actually grow over this stuff faster than the rock. Uh, for some reason, that is just my opinion on that. But so I end up, I got the coral mounted up here, San Diego. And uh, I'm going to turn the blues down. I'm going to show you guys up close and personal. Um, I got my reef link open here on my phone. And um, we'll see what it looks like under the blues, guys. It's three different colors. It's a rarer one. This one's for, uh, from Australia. Uh, so let's go check out this coral, guys, under the blues. All right, guys. So we got the coral going on there right now. So I'm just going to zoom in. You guys can check it out. So see all the different multicolors? So that's a rare coral from Australia. So let's start turning the blues down, guys. So I got my reef link open. So open the radions. Let's go to our slider board. Bar. So let's take our reds down. Let's take our greens down. Let's take our cool whites. Let's take our blues down a bit. So you guys can see the multicolors there, guys. It's a beautiful color. So I just dropped my blues right off. So it's just royal blues and UV filter. Well, if you guys could see what I could see, could see right now, there's a lot of orange in there as well. It's amazing looking. You guys can see the orange coming out in it. So it's a beautiful specimen. Alright guys, so that's uh, the Acanophilia. I just wanted to show you guys this coral. It's a beautiful coral. Um, I ended up buying this uh, coral uh, up in Ottawa at uh, Aqua Valley. That's where I get my corals for every Coral Friday. 
Um, he has a very uh, great selection. Uh, he's an importer as well. So I will leave his uh, card at the end of the video. And if you guys want to do any online orders, um, he's online. You guys can check out all his corals. He's a very knowledgeable guy. So please check him out, guys. Aquavalley.ca. Uh, Go check him out. So thanks for watching this episode, guys. Um, you can please subscribe. Hit the like button. Um, you never know which coral I'm going to have again next week, guys. So have a good one. Bye.